Hey, so back to Earl real quick. This ain't even a bashing video. This ain't even about that for real, for real. If it's a, it, actually, it is a bashing video, but it ain't the bash Earl. Y'all see this man's face, right? Any fighter can have a busted face, go to war, still win. But y'all seen how bad he, he, he was made to look, how bad Crawford made him look, right? Don't blame him. Don't blame him. But you can blame him, matter of fact. Because before I get into who really needs to blame, I'm going to tell y'all that a lot of people are coming at Spence in his camp. Because do y'all remember how bad these people was talking to Terrence Crawford? Them? Him and Terrence Crawford had mutual respect. But Spence was talking a whole lot of big shit. He was the big fish, the big payday. What he was going to do to Crawford, he always been out of line. And everybody was like, ooh, 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 ooh. Nobody not one time after the Ugas fight said, Earl don't look like himself. Earl shouldn't fight Bud. It was all Bud don't want to smoke until Bud made him look bad. Look slow, more technical a fighter. Don't know if the wreck had anything to do with what he was doing, but he fought Ugas and beat his face up like that right there, even worse. So I don't want to hear none of that. But he got exposed and he was talking all this shit. And even after all that, Bud still didn't kill this man in the media. He actually went up to him, and I guarantee you, he told him, You're going to bounce back or something like that. No, you know what I'm saying? To, to encourage him. But the real problem, this is who we should be bashing. His trainers. Now everybody coming up with these false these false excuses or possibly could be true. But if it's true, who sees him and trains him on a daily? You need to get mad at these trainers for putting these boxes in. They did them like they did Muhammad Ali. They look at that man as a payday knowing darn well he possibly couldn't. He shouldn't be boxing again. After that fight, I only want to see Earl Spence in the, in the ring again. Or he might not make it out. And they ain't, they ain't being funny or nothing. That's being for real. Dude might not make it out of another fight. He does not need to be in another ring. He needs to seek help. He got enough money. Chill out. Enjoy your life. Be funny, man. Get, commentate. Do something, bro. Like, your speech, you, you it's not coming out properly, bro. You can barely get it out. You know what I'm saying? You got neurological damage or something. If you don't, you do after that fight. Quit. Brother, ain't nothing wrong going out on top, bro. You already did so many. You don't want so much. You got nothing to be ashamed, but his trainer should be ashamed of themselves because y'all seen this man every day. Y'all know darn well that man should have never been in no damn ring. And, and, but to be honest, we all could be seeing something else wrong. And he probably could have just went in there high. He said he was going to be smoking bud. So you probably smoke bud, think you can go in there and smoke bud, and then come out and rebuttal that you smoke bud, but you got smoked by bud while you were smoking bud. Now you wish that you were smoking bud because you hurt him. So that makes sense. Whatever. But anyway, on surreal, bro, your fire them trainers. Fire every last one that was in your camp that boost you up to go get in that ring, knowing they see you daily and knowing them well you didn't if, if they you didn't see if you didn't look right. You look like you was weak because you punching that bag every day. You running, you exercise, you doing this every day, bro. If you were so called that weak, you wouldn't even been able to finish a lot of those sessions. And if they did, they saw the problem. They saw you couldn't block nothing. They saw you couldn't see something or whatever because you couldn't see punches coming. Now, they crawl for punch from everywhere anyway. But I think Stevie Wonder could have dodged more punches like dead series, bro. Like you was really, you was beating them up with your face. And I, I, I thought that was your game plan. I, I had no idea. Bro, fire every last one of them motherfuckers. Remember, if y'all agree, I want to see if y'all agree. How many agree with this right here? Or tell me what y'all think was wrong with them, what y'all think wasn't wrong with them. But do y'all agree with the firing of the trainers and that the trainers set that, let that man down and set him out there to a shark for a big payday? You know what I'm saying? If he go out there again, bro, they, they, they should be banned from boxing. The trainers, if he go out there and he looks that bad, and it's really an issue, and they sent that man out there, they should be banned for boxing, for putting that man at medical risk or whatever you want to do because Bud spared that man for real. So let me know in the comments what y'all think that was going on or what do y'all think he should box again and do you think the trainers to blame? Let me know what y'all think because I sure think those things.